Not not yet, not yet. <laughs> I don't have any sort of pregame, so and I'm still waiting on information from some of these guys. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't really. <laughs> I was like, "What's wrong with the soundboard?" I'm. Heads up. I'm so frazzled right now. With. <laughs>
Well, if, if I was going to say, if that one's running, do we want to go ahead and set that one up over there? At least we get it mid-game. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, the power, power wasn't working. Yeah. Everything that was over there is in the bag. I just kind of dumped it in there. Okay, I'm, I'm ready if he is. I'm ready if Skylar wants to set us live. Keep keep it fairly wide because we're only using this one. So, like like pitcher batter and then any ball just pan over to the ball in the outfield. Okay, so pitcher batter follow the ball. Pitcher batter follow the ball, and we'll let you know if and when we can get that camera up. That'll that may might change a little bit. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Main thing is pitcher batter and plays at first base. So. Which one am I in, Jasmine? This one or? I'm in two. Okay. Kill my mic until he says we're live. All right. Did did he set us? Well, they're, they're going to start, so, uh, Suna, yeah. can you send us live? Skylar's not responding. I don't know if we're live or not. Let me, let me check. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2023 Post Oak Little League Tournament broadcast here on the Vibe Live Network. My name is Merle Bertrand. and we are scrambled and frazzled and flying by the seat of our pants tonight, thanks to Mother Nature. We'll get more into that here in just a minute. This is the major semifinal game, the, uh, the uh, winner's bracket semifinal number one between the Pirates and the Astros. And we'll get you batting orders and all that kind of thing. The Pirates are the visitors here in this tournament. This is Jack Cofer to lead it off here. Pitcher on the hill for the Astros is Dylan Gompers. And the first pitch is outside ball one, and we are underway from Haven Street's ballpark here in Houston, Texas. Storms all around us. In fact, they're going to be hit by a pitch, and that's going to put Cofer at first base. This game was scheduled for last night, and that uh, we got here and promptly turned around and headed back home because the field just got to be too wet to play. So scheduled about uh, 26 hours later as Gomper, uh, Gomper, uh, Gopher trying to walk that off over there at the first base side. Got out here, got all set up and ready to go for this game, and a squall came through and literally knocked scaffolding down. 
I was riding the one out in center field. We're still trying to get that camera back up. So we're down to a one camera uh, production right now on the first base side. We'll do the best we can until we can get that second camera up as Mason Maggie is now stepping in. Runner at first base, that's Kofer. He was hit by the pitch. And that's a ground ball foul up the third base side, strike one. Jasmine Jones, our producer. Thank you to Jasmine. Skylar Gillespie will be our QA, making sure that we're staying on the air and looking and sounding as good as we possibly can on a weird night. No balls, one strike to Maggi. And that ball hit to left field and it's going to bounce in there for a base hit. It'll be runs in first and second here for the Pirates. So go for the second, Maggie at first, and that'll bring up Parker Dots on the shortstop. So Dotson will step in. And the first pitch to him is a ground ball left side. Shortstop's got it over to third base for one, and they get the out over to Sanchez. So it'll go as a 6-5 fielder's choice. Dotson will be at first base. Maggi up to second. Kofor retired at first base for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Benjamin Lux. Robert McNair, the shortstop, over to Sanchez for the 6-5 put out. So one out, runners at first and second. Here in the top of the first inning, and the first pitch misses outside, ball one. We'll get you caught up in everything between innings as we kind of get up and running here on the fly. On a stormy night in Houston, that one filed down to the left side, and the county was up one ball, one strike. Did I just pull that off the table? I'm sorry. And the pitch down low ball too. Toss over the first runner back. I figure everything already fell off the table once when all heck broke loose, so I tried to do it myself. Two balls and a strike to Lux. And ground ball does. That's a fair ball down the left field line. They're going to send the runner around. Magic is going to go score. one nothing Pirates. And that's going to be an RBI double. They're going to send the second runner in. The throw coming in. Not in time. 2 nothing Pirates on a two-RBI triple from the pitcher, Benjamin Lux. The worm burning down the third base line. Scores Maggie and Dotson. And it is now 2 nothing Pirates. And that will bring up Henry Hogan, the first baseman. And that pitch misses outside, ball one. Well, we need to uh, switch our scoreboard. The Pirates are the visitors. I'm sorry, I just realized that. One out, runner at third, that's Lux. As Henry Hogan steps in. And that one chopped foul. The county was up one ball, one strike. Two nothing Pirates on top. That one popped back to the screen and out of play in the count one and two. And that pitch high and away, two and two. The county was up to Hogan. Can a newcomer on deck. 12 guys will bat in each inning in this Majors Division contest. Everybody bats. 2-2 two -two pitch. And it's good foul to the third base side. The count remains 2-2. Two two. Six inning ball games. Winner of this game will move on to the Majors Championship game. That'll be on Saturday afternoon, Mother Nature permitting. Two balls, two strikes to Hogan. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that one caught a piece of, it may have been a foul tip. Foul tip caught a piece of the umpire, but he's okay. And this will be pitch number seven coming up here to Hogan. As the wind whipping up again. It's about 90 degrees when we got here. It may be 70 now. That front came through. Literally blew three scaffolds over. I was on the one out in the center field. Rode it halfway down before the fence caught me. 
Crazy afternoon. Two balls, two strikes here to Hogan. That's a line shot. Spear, nice play by the third baseman. Sanchez spears it and robs Hogan of at least a double. So two away now for Canada Newcomer. With Luck still at third base. Two out for Newcomer. And the pitch misses down low. Ball one. Mention the winner will move out of the championship game on Saturday. We'll have that one for you here on Vibe. The loser is not done. They will turn around and play uh, Wednesday night. Pitch misses outside. Back to the screen. They're going to have a plate to plate. The throw coming in. Not a time. And it's 3 0 Pirates in the wild pitch. Two balls, no strikes. Now 3 0 Pirates. So now two outs, bases empty for Newcomer. And that pitch was missed out outside. The count two and one. Ball three. And that is a walk. So Newcomer will trot down to first base as the Pirates try to restart their rally. That'll bring up James Candola, the catcher, with two outs and a runner at first. Let's try this again while we have a conference. The winner will move on. They will play in the championship game on Saturday. The loser will come back and play on uh, Wednesday night against the Dodgers. The Dodgers defeated the Cubs and uh, the Marlins. Sorry, the Dodgers defeated the Marlins in an elimination game right before this one. So the loser of this game will take on... They'll take on the Dodgers on Wednesday night. And that pitch misses outside, ball one. So winner plays Saturday, loser will play again on Wednesday night. Showing bunt pulls it back and the pitch misses down low, 2-0. Oh. Ground ball left side, Sanchez gobbles it up and he'll take the short throw over to second. And that will do it. So the 6-4 will retire Newcomer on the force as Candola on the field is choice. In the inning, however, for the Pirates, three runs, uh, two hits, no errors. And one more to left on base. We play through one half inning of play here from Haven Street's Ballpark in Houston. 3-0 Pirates. And the Astros coming up. Pirates enter the tournament, the number six seed after the regular season with a mark of 7-8-1. And uh, they defeated the Cardinals and the Red Sox to reach this third round. The Astros, 7-6-3. They are the number four seed. They defeated the Rockies and the Cubs. And they find themselves trailing the Pirates here, 3-0, in the bottom half of the first inning. Try to give you the defense a set here for the Pirates. Looks like Mason Maggie at third base, Parker Dotson, the shortstop, Jack Kofer at second base, and Henry Hogan over at first. James Condola behind the plate, Benjamin Lux the starting pitcher. Outfielder, left field is number 12. That is Brooks Despot. Center field is number 7, Austin Janelle. And the right fielder, I believe, I can't, number 21. Cannon Newcomer out in right field. We'll try to give you the Astros set as well when they came back out on the field. It's going to change around a lot. Both these coaches pretty busy trying to get their team quickly out of the field to turn around. So weren't able to get me a lot of the information ahead of time that I would normally have. Dylan Goppers, John DeBoden, and Matias Sanchez, the first three hitters up here for the Astros. Who find themselves trailing it here three to nothing in the bottom of the first. And Jasmine, do you know Skyler's with the Seattle is he? Oh, God. 
lead it off, or I thought he was, and they're going to toss it around a little bit more. It is windy, it is chilly, but so far it is dry, which is pretty miraculous. So here's Gomper stepping in. From the left side to lead it off here for the Astros. And the pitch misses outside, ball one. You got him. And the pitch up high, one, uh, two and oh. Two balls, no strikes to Gompers. Two-oh pitch from Lux. That's in there for a strike. Two and one. Got to get used to the umpire's body language. Two balls, one strike. And fouled out of play. Coming right at us. And almost over onto the uh, minors field behind us, which is where we will be on Wednesday night as well. We'll have the second major semifinal game, along with both semifinal games for the Miners on Wednesday. Two balls, two strikes to Gompers. And that's a base hit into right center field. He's going to try to go for two. The throw coming in, not in time. So Gompers legs out a double. Looked like a soft hit single. Just got over the second baseman's glove, but it kind of died on the thick grass out there. Gompers never hesitated. Legs it out for a double, and the Astros have a runner at second base with nobody out for John DeBowden. And that pitch up high ball one. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one the count. One one pitch. Swing and a miss again at the high heat. One ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch from Benjamin Lux. The wind. And swing and a miss, strike three. And DeBowden is out on strikes. One away now from Matias Sanchez. Runner at first. So here's Sanchez. He had that nice spear in the top of the first inning of what looked to be a double. And swing and a miss, strike one. Alexis got the Astros tonight, right now chasing after that high pitch. A one pitch. Looks like a curveball. That's in there for a strike. Nope, missed outside for a ball. One and one. One ball, one strike. One, one pitch. Popped up right side and get out of play to the right. And the count goes to one and two to Sanchez. One ball, two strikes, and time is called. One, two pitch. Just missed outside and low, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. 
That pitch stays up high and the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. That ball hit hard to left field. That ball is going to drop in there and roll to the wall. Rounding third, heading for home is Gompers. Rounding first, heading for second is Sanchez. The throw coming in, and it's an RBI double crush to the left center field fence, and the Astros are on the board, 3-1. to one. That was a flat spot of baseball. 3-1 ball game as Robert McNair steps in. Sanchez at second with one away. Swung on and foul tip, strike one. Oh, one pitch. Just a little low. One ball, one strike. 190 feet to the left field power pole. 195 to the right field power pole. 208 to the left power alley. 200 to the right field power alley. 195 to dead away center field. That one's fouled off. 195 to dead away center field, but the double high wall. One ball, two strikes to McNair. Yeah, not sure what you can see on your screen, but there is a significant drop-off of the infield. The outfield is about a foot lower than the infield. One ball, two strikes. Missed outside, and the run is going to move up to third base. So two and two to McNair, runner at third, still just one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Pulled the string on that one and got McNair out in front of it for strikeout number two. So two us now runner at third for the catcher, Hudson Waldert. <laughs> two ball, or Hudson Waldert steps in with two outs. And that ball bounces off the face plate and it's going to go to the right side and the run's going to score. So Sanchez scores on the wild pitch to make it now 3-2. to two. One ball, no strikes to Waldart. Two outs, base is empty. Two runs in here for the Astros. As they've gotten two of the three runs back and swinging a miss. Strike one to Waldart. Pitch missed down low. Ball two. Two balls and one strike. Thanks to Jasmine Jones, our producer. Skyler Gillespie, our QA. Soon have been caught our technical director trying to get that center field camera to come back to life. There was no power out there. So she's trying to reroute and reline stuff. That's what we were working on when the uh, storm came in and almost knocked me out of the playing field. Two balls and a strike to Waldert. Chase that one on the count, two and two. The two-two pitch. Swung on, fouled back, and the count remains two and two. The 2-2 pitch. Missed up high, ball three, and the count goes full to Walter. So Lux with the 3-2 pitch. The wind on its way. A line drive. Scobs out by the shortstop to throw to first. In time, nicely done. 
by Parker Dobson over to Henry Hogan and the 6-3 putout retires the side. So in the inning, however, for the Astros, they get two runs on two hits. No errors, nobody left on base. With the score three to two. Again, my name is Merle Bertrand, Vibe Live Broadcast Director. Happy to be here in Houston. Came in from Austin. Be back Wednesday, Mother Nature permi uh, permitting. Mother Nature is undefeated. So we'll see how that goes. When Sue and I drove through Brenham on the way here from Austin, we were about 30 minutes past Brenham. It rained harder than I've been in in a long time. Going about 10 miles an hour. Hazard lights on, couldn't see anything. Gigantic lightning bolts. We started texting ahead. Uh, we think this is coming your way. Are these games still on? And they have uh, persevered and looks like they're gonna get them in. Do up here for the Pirates in the top half of the second inning. It's Janelle uh, Mock and Gibson. Landon Gibson do up. All right, so here we go to the top of the second inning. Remember, six inning games. Been doing high school baseball all year long, so I got to keep reminding myself as much as anything that they're playing six. As Austin Janelle will step in, left fielder to lead it off here for the Pirates. They stake themselves with three nothing lead. The Astros got two of them back in the bottom of the second. That's where we stand. And the first pitch high and away, ball one. Misses outside, I believe. Nope, they call that a strike, one on one. I'm just gonna watch the scoreboard, not the umpire. He's not very demonstrative back there. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes to Janelle. And that pitch in the dirt, two and two. Dylan Gomper is the pitcher. Your catcher, Hudson Waldert. John DeBowden over third. Matthias Sanchez is at third base. And that one's a slow roll to the left side. That's a fair ball. Throw down to first and in time. Nicely done. by the Astros catcher, Hudson Wildert. And it goes a 2-3 put out for out number one. So one out base is empty, that'll bring up Timothy Mock. No balls, one strike, and that pitch misses outside. One on one to Mock. One one pitch. One hops up to the plate, two and one. And a 
conversation on the mound. That'll give me a chance to write down the rest of these uh, Astros defenders. Here's the pitch. That's in the first strike. Two balls, two strikes. One out here in the top half of the second inning. And in the call, strike three. And that is strikeout number one recorded for Dylan Gompers. One away for Landon Gibson. So Gibson will step in from the right side with one out. Or check that two out and the base is empty. And now time is called. Gompers working from the stretch. And the first pitch. Misses outside, ball one. No, he didn't call strike. It's a delayed strike call again. So 0 and 1 the count to Gibson. And that pitch misses down low. One ball, one strike. One one pitch. Misses outside and high. Two balls, one strike. Do one pitch. That ball hit hard to center field. That's going to drop in there for a base hit. Cut off by left fielder. Toss into the infield. And that's a two-out single to the left field off the bat of Gibson. And that'll bring up Bobby Falk. Conference on the mound gives me a chance to finish doing this. Number seven, Robert Nair. Given the Astros lineup literally about five minutes before first pitch, so didn't have a chance to do much with it. So we fill that in here on the fly. Two outs, runner at first for Falk. And we're going to have a pitching change here. Looks like for the Astros, the new pitcher is going to be Palmer Hutchinson. So we'll have to see who moves over to second base now. Yes, Hutchison was over there. Gompers is going to stay in, and looks like Gompers is going to move over to first. Hutchison, the pitcher. John DeBowden is now playing second base. And Dylan Gompers has moved over to first. So the infield is now Matthias Sanchez, Robert McNair still, John DeBowden at second base, and Dylan Gompers moves over to first base, the new pitcher, Palmer Hutchison. And he will face off here against Bobby Falk with two outs and a runner at first. And the pitch down low, ball one. The runner is off. The throw down to second base, and it is not in time. So a stolen base for Gibson. And one ball, no strikes to Falk.
Ground ball over to third base side. The throw in time. As they go, Matias Sanchez over to Dylan Gumpers for the 5-3 put out, and the inning is over. So in the inning for the Pirates, no runs, one hit, no errors. We're going to left on base. We play through one and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning, still 3-2 in favor of the Pirates. All right, we move to the bottom half of the second inning. 3-2, Pirates on top. And that's the 6, 7, and 8 hitters do up here for the Astros. Lex Head to lead it off. And he swings at the first pitch and ground ball right side. Gobbled up by the first baseman there, Henry Hogan. He'll step in the bag, three unassisted for a quick first out here of inning number two. And that'll bring up the new pitcher, Palmer Hutchison. Started at second base, now pitching. So one out base is empty here in the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss. Pitch up high, but Hutchison unable to lay off of it for strike one. Ball one pitch. Misses outside, ball one. One ball, one strike. One ball and a strike. Pitch misses inside, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Campbell Heron on deck. Two and one to Hutchison, one out, base is empty, bottom of the second. That ball hit hard to center field, going back and making a catch. Nice catch out there for the Pirates by Landon Gibson on a hard hit ball. Just kind of reached up and speared it before it got over his head for out number two. So two outs, bases empty for Campbell Heron. Great play by Landon Gibson. On a well hit baseball. Two outs, bases empty for Heron. And that one popped off the bat handle, lifted foul down the right field line, strike one. Oh, one pitch. Missed outside, 1-1. One one. one ball, one strike. Misses outside, 2-1. and one. Two balls, one strike. An 
excuse me, check swing, but he went around and the count he was up two balls and two strikes. Two and two to Heron. The pitch from Benjamin Lux. High inside, brushes him back, and the count goes full. Three and two. That one a ground ball. Not speared by Lux, and he will toss over to first himself. And the one three put out retires the Astros in order here in the bottom half of the second inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. And we will go to the third inning. Still 3-2, so an offensive explosion in the first inning. Good pitching and defense in the second, and we'll go to the third inning. Still 3-2 in favor of the Pirates. And it'll be 12-1 and two hitters due up here for the Pirates. I can tell you it's Paul Cartai in center field right now for the Astros. In left field for the Astros is Grayson Head. And waiting for the right fielder to turn around so I can read that number. Looks like number eight, if I had to get. That'd be Quinn Persia. Is your outfield for the Astros? So here we go to the top half of inning number three, and the first pitch to Brooks Desmond is down low ball one. Pitch number two, one hops up to the plate, and the count quickly two and oh, two and oh to Desmond. Two oh pitch. Up high, ball three. Three balls, no strikes. And that is going to be a four-pitch walk to start off the Pirate half of the third inning. Second walk, or actually the first walk of the ballgame surrendered by uh, Hutchison. And back to the top of the order will go to Jack Cofer. He was hit by a pitch to start off the ballgame. First pitch to Kofer, and that one is in there for a call strike one. Starting to figure out this umpire now. High inside, ball one. One ball, one strike. And time is called. One ball, one strike. And that one off the bat handled and going to squib foul on the count one and two. I'm going to say something I've never said before in the six years we've been coming out here to do these tournaments. I wish it was warmer. It's a little chilly. One ball, two strikes. Ducks out of the way and the pitch down low, two and two. Two two pitch, and that's in there. Okay, that was a walk. I have not figured out this umpire. So runners at first and second, with nobody out for Mason Maggi. 
And it looks like we're going to have another pitching change. This time it's going to be the shortstop coming in. Robert McNair going to become the third pitcher of the ball game. So Sanchez will stay at third. Let's see where everybody went. The Bowden's going to stay at second. McNair comes in at short, or comes in to pitch from shortstop. I'm going to guess that Palmer Hutchison is going to I got scared. I saw the off-field was running off the field. I thought maybe we were having a lightning delay, but it looks like it's just getting a little coaching instruction on the side. So Hutchison is now back at shortstop. So here's Maggie stepping in. Nobody out runners at first and second. The thunder rumbles in the distance. Maggie one for one, singled and scored in the first inning. And swung on foul, strike one. Ooh, that one hits him on the backside, so the bases are going to be loaded. So Pirates have the bases loaded here with nobody out for Parker Dotson, the number three hitter. <laughs> As Dotson will step in now, bases loaded, nobody out, and that pitch is in there for call strike one. Hey, look at that. Our technical director, Suna Vincott, rocking and rolling. Took a sledgehammer to the center field camera, got it working. That ball hit the shallow right right field, right side infield ground rule. They're going to take the throw at second to get the run, the rumble score. I thought it was headed for the outfield, but it wound up to the second baseman, DeBota. He tossed it over to short to get Maggie. So the 4-6 put out for out number one. On the play, Desperate comes in to make it now 4-2. to two. And on the play, Kofer moves down to third base. So runners at the corners with one out. 4-2 ball game. And Benjamin Lux will step in. A 4-6 RBI field is choice. If you're scoring at home, and if you are, you really need to get a life. Lux had a two RBI triple in the first inning. Runners at the corners, one away. Four, two Pirates on top looking for more. And a good block behind the plate by Hudson Walbert for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Ground ball left side. Sanchez is going to step in the bag. That's not a force. The throw to first, then he's going to be, what do they call him? They call him safe at first. Sanchez instinctively stepped on the bag, but it's not a force out because there was not a runner at second base. So it should be five to two. I'm not sure what the discussion is. Okay, so they called him out at first. After a discussion, the umpires talk it over. So it's a five-three fielder's choice for out number two, and the score is now five to two. 
Two outs in the inning, runner at second, that's Dotson. And line drive. The throw to first. It is in time. The six three put out to retire Henry Hogan, and an interesting inning is over. So in the inning for the Pirates, they pick up two more runs. And they get it on. No hits. Helped out by a walk, two walks, and a couple of fielders' choices. And one more to left on base. So we will go now to the bottom half of the third inning. You score five to two in favor of the Pirates. So five two in favor of the Pirates. The Astros will send up the nine, ten, and eleven hitters here in the bottom half of the third inning. And an awesome job by Suna Vincott, as you see there, the center field camera, which is what we really want to have for these ball games. Trying to set that up. We're here well in advance, plenty of time. Had it all set up and then almost got dumped onto the center field when the storm came through. So I had to kind of reconfigure everything and get it working. So now Jasmine Jones, our producer, won't need coffee to stay awake because she'll actually have something to do. Getting able to switch cameras back and forth a little bit. Interesting week for Jasmine. Some semi-pro football on, uh, what was that, Sunday night, if I remember right. High school baseball on Saturday. Post Oak Little League on Monday. Today's Monday, right? Yeah. So Paul Cartai will step in here. His Astros trailing at 5-2 to two here in the bottom half of the third inning. Swing and a miss, strike one for Cartai. The Cartai, Leffler, and Persia do up. And the pitch down low, ball one. One ball, one strike. Oh, go ahead. Two balls, one strike to Cartai. And the pitch misses outside, three and one. Down low ball four, and the Astros have another base runner. First walk of the night allowed by Benjamin Lux, and that'll bring up Colin Leffler, the left fielder. Pitch inside corner for a strike. No balls, one strike. Two left, the left fielder for the Astros. Oh, one pitch from Lux. Right down the pipe for strike two. Let her high strike and the count quickly 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Cartai on first base drew the leadoff walk here. Just a little low and away, one ball and two strikes. Umpire doing a little maintenance work on the mound. The one-two pitch. Inside corner called strike three. And Leffler's out on strikes for out number one. Third strike out of the ball game recorded by Lux, and that'll bring up the right fielder, Quinn Persia. Pitch 
Pitch misses outside, ball one. That ball hit in the air to the right side, popped up, going back and making the catch on the right field fringe is the second baseman Jack Kofer. And he will squeeze it for out number one, or out number two, pardon me. So two away for Grayson Head, the left fielder. The pitch. And that for call strike one. Oh, one pitch from Lux. Swing and a miss way behind it. As Lux brings the heat and the count quickly 0 and 2. Cartier remains at first base. He let off the inning with the walk. He's still there after the strikeout to Leffler and the pop out from Persia. And the count no balls and two strikes to Grayson Head. Ground ball right side. And it'll be scooped up by Henry Hogan. He will step on the bag. And that will do it for the Astros here in the third inning. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on base. We played through three. We will go to the fourth of six. Still five to two in favor of the Pirates. Pirates will send up six, seven, and eight hitters here in the top half of the fourth inning. It'll be Newcomer, Condola, and Janelle. Winner of this game advances the championship Saturday. We'll have that game for you here on Vipe. Loser of this game will come back on Wednesday night, and they will take on the Dodgers, who defeated the Marlins in an elimination game earlier this evening. We'll have that game on Wednesday night, along with both semifinals from the Miners division on the field behind us. The action starting at 5.30. And then the two games at 7.30. Pee Wees have their semifinals on Friday night. Two games. Then I mentioned uh, championship Saturday. Three of the four divisions playing. Minors, Majors, and Pee Wee on Saturday. The juniors division this year is going to be next week. Single games on, I believe, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I have to spread out a little bit this year. We'll have all the games for you here on Vibe. Keep an eye on the weather. So Robert McNair on for his first full inning of work came on in relief of Palmer Hutchinson. It came on in relief of Dylan Gompers. So third pitcher of the ball game here for the Astros. Sanchez at third base, Palmer Hutchison back at shortstop, John DeBoda at second, and Dylan Goppers over at first as your infield for the Astros. As Cameron Newcomer will step in to lead it off. He walked in the first inning. And takes the first pitch, low and away, ball one. Ooh, and that hits him. Let's see, third hit batter of the ball game by Astros pitching. And Newcomer will trot down to first base. That'll bring up James Condola. Candola grounded into a fielder's choice last at bat. That ball hard hit left side. Sanchez has got it, goes to second for one, and no throw at first. Good play by Sanchez. That ball was hit hard. So it goes as a 5-4 force. Fielder's choice. Candola at first base. That'll bring Boston Janelle. That one swung out for strike one. 
I think the Astros have, moved, have changed their defense again. Ball one pitch. Missed it outside. Snap though down to first. I believe Gompers has moved behind home plate. One ball, one strike to Janelle. Line shot into the glove of Sanchez. A throw over to first. In time, it doubled him up. A 5-3 double play. Sanchez again with the key play. A third solid defensive play of the ball game. As Janelle lined it right to him. For out number two. And unfortunately for the Pirates, Condola had drifted off of first. And it's a 5-3 double play for the third out of the inning. So an unconventional 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We would go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. And it's still 5-2 in favor of the Pirates. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning, top of the order to up here for the Astros. It'll be Gompers, followed by John DeBoden and Matias Sanchez. Out of left field for the Pirates this inning, I see Bobby Falk, number 44. And center field is number 13. He made that nice play last inning. That's Landon Gibson. And we'll try to get a look at the right field when we can. We don't have any spotters or, or anything here. And the lineup's shifting around a lot. So we're doing the best we can to identify everybody. It's number eight out in right field for the Pirates. And that is... Timothy Mock. As Dylan Gompers will step in to lead it off. Doubled and scored in the first inning. Thunder rumbling all around us. The wind is blustery. Probably in the low 70s, but so far, knock on wood, the rain has stayed away. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. There's Gompers on the left side, and he takes the first pitch from Luck for a call strike one. All one pitch. That ball hit hard to center field. Left field, that's going to get down and go to the wall. Running first, heading for second is Gompers, and he's going to pull up there with his second double of the ball game. A rocket shot to left field. And the Astros have a runner at second base with nobody out. And that'll bring up John DeBoden, who's 0 for 1, struck out in the first. Pitch down low, ball one to DeBoden. Matthias Sanchez on deck for the Astros. Swung on and foul tip. One ball, one strike. One-one pitch. Pulled the string. 
Way out in front of it, one ball, two strikes. Benjamin Lux has gone the distance. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, strike three. Not two balls and a strike, it was one ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three for out number one. One away from Matias Sanchez. Sanchez has not only had a good game in the field, he also has an RBI double in the first to plate Gompers. And swing and a miss, strike one to Sanchez. No balls and a strike. Swung on and missed for strike two. Another foul tip. So Gompers will have to retreat to second. Actually, it wasn't a foul tip. They threw it down and almost, almost had him picked off, but he got back in time. So no balls, two strikes. The 0-2 pitch. That gets back to the backstop, and that's going to allow Gompers to move up to third base. He's going to round and take a look, but he'll pull up there on the wild pitch. One ball, two strikes. Gompers now at third base with one out. The one-two. Poked into shallow center field and coming on, making the underhanded catch, tagging at third to throw, not in time, but a nice play by the center field of Landon Gibson. That ball was sinking fast. And it's going to go as a sacrifice fly RBI to make your score now 5-3. to three. Sanchez gets the job done, gets the sacrifice for the second out of the inning, but Gompers comes in to score. So two outs, bases empty, 5-3, to three, and Robert Minera will step in. McNair 0 for 1, struck out in the first inning. That's a hard hit ball. Oh, knocked down by the first baseman. Nice job by Henry Hogan. That ball got to him in a hurry. Speared it on one hop and was able to step on the back for the three and assist to put out to retire the side here for the Astros. In the fourth inning, they do pick up one run on one hit. No errors, nobody left on base. We play through four. We will go to the fifth. And a 5-3 ball game with the Pirates on top. Unofficially for the Pirates. Five runs on three hits. No errors, three runners left on base thus far. And for the Astros, three runs on four hits. No errors, one runner left on base. Pirates will send up the 9, 10, and 11 hitters, Mock, Gibson, and Falk. And if you're unfamiliar with high with the Little League rules here, or at least the post oak Little League rules, all 12 guys on the lineup will bat. Nine in the field, but 12 will bat. And also six inning game if you're just tuning in. If you might be used to uh, high school with seven or college and the pros with nine, we play six here in pole. As Timothy Mock will step in 0 for 1, he struck out looking in the second inning. Robert McNair will still on the mound here for the Astros. Got Sanchez at third. Hutchison is shortstop. I think it's John DeBowden at second base. And the first pitch to Mock. 
way out in front of it for strike one. All one pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. The off speed on the first pitch comes back with the heat on the second. And the count quickly 0 and 2 to Mock. That ball is a fair ball down the right field line, but they get throw him out at first. That ball got there so fast. I think that was a 9 3 put out. No, it was a ground ball to the right side. Okay, it was a second baseman. We're at a funny angle here on the uh, third base side, so it's going to go as a 4 3 put out. I thought for a second that it got through in the right field that threw him out. So one away, and that'll bring up Landon Gibson. With, with the bases empty. And listed foul back over the backstop by the concession area. Strike one. That is, by the way, Hudson Walder playing second base. Which confirms my suspicion. That's a swing and a miss for strike two that is right, Dylan Gompers behind the plate. No balls, two strikes to Gibson. He's had a nice game defensively as well. He fouls that one back. The count remains 0-2. No balls, two strikes. Just missed up high, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swung on foul tip. One and two. In there, called strike three, and he knew it. Good pitch from Robert McNair to retire Gibson for out number uh, two here in the inning. Two out spaces empty for Bobby Falk. He's 0 for one, grounded out to third. And that pitch misses. Nope, in the call strike one, says the umpire. No balls, one strike. In there for strike two. So McNair has settled in here. Third Astros pitcher has done a good job keeping his team in the ball game. No balls and two strikes to Falk. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and it's a quick, quiet one, two, three inning here for the Pirates, including two strikeouts. So no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We will go to the bottom half of inning number five. Still five, three Pirates on top. Astros will send up their five, six, and seven hitters. Waldert, Head, and Hutchinson do up. Against Benjamin Lux. Looks like a new outfield. Number 21, Cannon Newcomer, out in left. Number 7 in center field for the Pirates. That is Austin Janelle. And we'll see who's out and right if I can. Cannot quite read the number from here. Maybe number 12. 
Brooks Despot out and right. If I can read that right. So newcomer Janelle Despot, the outfield left to right. Maggie Dodson, Cooper Hogan, the infield third to first. Candola behind the plate. And Benjamin Lux on for his fifth inning of work. Trying to protect a two-run lead and propel his team into the championship game on Saturday. And Hudson Walder will step in 0 for 1 of the ballgame, grounded out the shortstop. And takes the off speed pitcher in there for call strike one. A one pitch. High inside, ball one. One ball, one strike. That's in the for Nope, he called it outside. I think he's making a strike motion, but he's actually saying it's outside. So the count is 3-0. That's why I haven't figured this guy out. Three balls and no strikes, especially from this angle here, well up the third base line. That pitch is in there for a strike, so three balls, one strike. And that's a pie for ball four. So Walder draws the walk, and that'll bring up Lex Head. The tying run will come to the plate here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Head 0 for 1, grounded out the first base back in the second. Pitch one hop, and a nice play behind the plate by Candola to keep that one from getting back to the backstop, ball one. And that one gets away, and the runner's going to move up to second base. So Walder to second, two balls, no strikes, two head. And we might have uh, kind of a visit to the mound here. Let's see if uh, Lux will stay in the game or if we're going to have a pitching change. All right, so the conversation is over. And Lux will stay in for at least one more batter here. Two balls, no strikes to Lex Head. Nobody out runner at first base here in the top half. Let's check that bottom half of the fifth inning. And that off speed misses for ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Radio pitch. Back to back walks puts the tying runs aboard here for Palmer Hutchinson. So the Astros trying to mount a rally here in the bottom half of the fifth inning with Walter at second, head at first, nobody out. Hutchinson 0 for 1 flew out to center field back in the second inning. And we are going to have a pitching change here. Gave him the one more batter, but couldn't find the strike zone, so we'll see how they shift things around here. Nice job by Lux, five plus innings of work. And it looks like it's going to be Mesa Maggi coming in to pick. And we'll check and see if they just flip flop. Yeah, Lux is not going to go over to third base. So Benjamin Lux will be moving over to third base. Mason Maggi will take over pitching duties here. 
in the bottom half of the fifth inning in a 5-3 ball game, but the Astros mounting a rally to try to tie this thing up. Looks like action here, obviously. Action on the Miners team behind us. And I see lights on over at the Pee Wee field. Don't know if they're playing or they're just... Uh, just the lights are on in the complex here. Priest Haven's ballpark, the four-field complex here in Houston. So Maggie's warm-up tosses are complete. And he will face off against Palmer Hutchison. That's a little spooky up there in the scaffolding for uh, our camera operators. The first pitch is a little low, ball one. One ball, no strikes to Hutchinson. One no pitch. That's in the first strike. One ball, one strike. One and one. Runners at first and second. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. Popped up, lifted foul out of play to the right side. One ball, two strikes. One and two the count. The pitch on its way. Ducks out of the way and it goes over his head. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Now you're working from the stretch with the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball left side. And they will try to go to third, not in time. Little miscommunication there as Lux came in to charge to play the ball. And Maggie fielded it by the time Lux could put on the brakes and try to get back to third. He couldn't get there in time, so it's an, a field of choice. Space is loaded. Walder to third, head at second, Hutchinson at first, Campbell Heron will step in. Base is loaded, nobody out. And a 5 3 ball game. Swing and a miss, strike one. Pirates up 5-3, but that lead is tenuous. Snap throw down to third, runner back. <coughs> ball one pitch. Stays up a little high. Ball one. One ball, one strike. No place to put him. But the base is loaded. One one pitch. Down low. Good stop by the catcher Candola to keep that one from going back to the backstop. And the run probably would have scored. Instead, Walder has to remain at third base. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two.
Two balls, two strikes. Waller in third, head at second, Hutcherson at first. Nobody out here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Maggie looking in with the 2-2 count. Right hander working from the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three for a big first out of the inning. So what are we now for Paul Cartai? Base is still loaded, now one away. And Cardi steps in. Misses outside. No, the late call strike one. I, I, just gonna give up until they put it up in the scoreboard. No balls, one strike. Down low, and again, a nice job by Candola to keep the runner at third base. One ball, one strike. One, one pitch. That ball just fouled on the right field line. One ball, two strikes. One and two. Maggie with a one-two pitch. Up a little high and inside, two and two. Walder at third, head at second. Hutchison at first, two balls, two strikes. The pitch. In the call, strike three for a big out number two. So now two outs with the base loader for Cullen Luffler, the left fielder. Astros loaded up the bases on back-to-back -back walks and a fielder's choice with nobody out. Then back-to-back -back strikeouts. Bases loaded, but now two outs for Luffler. He's 0 for 1. He struck out in the third inning. That's in there for strike one. Biggest moment of this game right here. Bottom half of the fifth inning of a two-run game. No balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Boy, while they're trying to draw that throw. No balls, two strikes. O2 pitch. Just missed it outside, one and two. Walder still dancing. Hoping to draw an errant throw to come in with the fourth run and move the base, base runners up. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Mason Maggie comes in in relief and strikes out three straight batters. And the Astros lead the bases loaded here in the bottom of the fifth inning. We will go to the sixth, still five to three. What a job by Mason Maggie. No runs, no hits, no errors. Three runners left on base. The Pirates will send up 12-1 and two hitters to try to build on a 5-3 lead as I hear the dulcet tones of the best band in the world, ELO, playing over the loudspeakers. Robert Munares come on, done a good job for the Astros in relief. Pirates with three runs in the top of the first. Astros answered with two in the bottom of the first. 
We stayed that way until the Pirates tacked on two more in the third inning to take a 5-2 lead. Astros got it, one of them back in the fourth inning to make it a 5-3 ball game. They missed a golden opportunity just a moment ago where they had the bases loaded and nobody out and couldn't punch anything in. Brooks Despot to lead it off. He walked and scored in the third. So here's Despot stepping in from the left side. Yeah, that pitch in there for a call to strike one. Yeah, top of the sixth inning. Yep. Yeah, that pitch down low. One ball, one strike. One one pitch. Swung on foul back to the screen. The count goes to one and two. It'll be Despot, Kopfer, and Maggie do up here. One ball, two strikes. The pitch from McNair. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Despot is out on strikes. That's the third straight strikeout, by the way, recorded by McNair who has really done a nice job and settled down here. One away, back to the top of the order, and Jack Kofer will go. Kofer's been on base twice, but he doesn't have an official at bat. He was hit by a pitch in the first inning and walked in the third. So 0 for 4 officially, but the on-base percentage has gone up and looks at the first pitch there inside ball one. One zero pitch. Ground ball left side, and a throw to first, in, not in time, and gets away from the first baseman uh, Gompers. Uh, Matias Sanchez, the throw just a little bit off that time, and the E five will put Kofer aboard with one away, and that'll bring up Matt Maggie. One out, one aboard for the Pirates. And snapped it on the first runner, dies back. Got to throw it down by Gompers. Strike one to Maggi. Swung out, fly back to the screen, and the count quickly 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Kofer aboard at first on the air. The pitch from McNair. Ground ball up the middle. They go to short for one. No, oh, safe. Pull them off the bag. Everybody's going to be safe. The throw pulled them off the bag so they do not get the force. And the Pirates have runners at first and second, still with one out for Parker Dotson. That's got to draw a visit from the coach to uh, try to see if we can get an appeal from the third base umpire. Ow. Couldn't really tell. We got a pretty good angle here on the third base side. Couldn't really tell. I was trying to watch and see. They're going to talk it over. Umpires doing what they should do, getting together, talking about it. What did you see? What did I see? They rarely overturn these things, and it looks like it is going to stand. So 
So the Pirates have run it still at first and second with one out for Parker Dotson. 0 for 2 with an RBI field as choice back in the third inning. Comes up here with Kofer at second, Maggie at first. And that pitch in the for call strike one. No balls, one strike. Round ball. Shortstop's got it, drops it, and everybody's going to be safe. Second error on in the inning for the Astros. Loads the bases up for the Pirates, and that'll bring up Benjamin Lux. Bases loaded, nobody out for Lux. One for two, but the one was a big one. A two RBI triple back in the first inning. And we've had a pitching change, it looks like. Number nine coming in to pitch. For the Astros, that is Hudson Walder. That'll be the fourth pitcher of the night for the Astros. He started off the night behind the plate. Now he'll take over pitching duties. Sanchez remains at third base. Looks like Miner is going to go back to shortstop. So nobody out for the Pirates. Bases loaded. And their cleanup hitter, Benjamin Lux, will step in. The face off against Hudson Walder. And the first pitch. Ground ball left side. Sanchez is going to come home. And I think they got him. I've got about five people standing between me and the home plate umpire, but it looks like, yeah, they put out a second out on the board. So an alert play there by Sanchez. 5-2, force off for the second out of the inning. Everybody else moves up, and that'll bring up Henry Hogan. Ground ball left side. Sanchez off the glove of Sanchez. The run's going to score, I believe, the throw to first. Not in time. Makes it now 6-3. to three. As Hogan beats it out, Maggie scores. Dotson moves up to third base. Base is still loaded. Now 6-3. to three And stepping in is Cannon Newcomer with two outs. Base is loaded. 6-3 ball game now. And strike one to count the Newcomer. Time is called. Dotson at third, Lux at second, Hogan at first, two outs. One ball, one strike. I had forgotten that Despot had struck out to start the inning. So it wasn't nobody out. There's a pop-up on the infield. And coming on and making the catch is the shortstop, Robert McNair, to retire the side. But the Pirates get a couple of big insurance runs. The scoreboard says 6-3. I thought the score was 7-3. But we will go with what the scoreboard says. We're going to go to the bottom half of the sixth inning coming up. Air field is choice. Another air loaded the bases. 
Oh yeah, just one run did score. It is it is six to three. I can't read my own scorebook here. I forgot that Kofer was uh, thrown out at home. So we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. It'll be Persia ahead, and then Gumpers do up here. As Mason Maggie on for his first full inning of work. After striking out the side after the bases were loaded in the fifth inning. Timothy Mock now out in left field. Trying to look around, see how uh, who else they moved around. Looks like Gibson, Gimp, yeah, Gibson back in center field. So here's Quinn Persia stepping in. He was 0 for 1, popped out to the second baseman. It's 11, 12, and 1 hitters. Astros need 3 to tie and 4 to win this game. Winner moves on to the championship game. The loser will play in the second semifinal against the Marlins on Wednesday night as they would drop into the loser's bracket. So here's Persia stepping in. And swing and a miss, strike one. Persia ahead and Gompers do up here for the Astros. No balls, one strike. Oh, one pitch. Pitch low and away, ball one. One ball, one strike. Well, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes to Persia. That ball poked in the air to shallow right field and it's actually gonna be the center fielder coming in and making the catch. Landon Gibson. It's about his third put out of the ball game. They are one away. One out now for Grayson Head. So here's Head stepping in. He is 0 for 1. Grounded out to first. It is on the other bat. That was back in the third inning. And swing and a miss. Strike one. Pirates are two outs away from playing in the championship game on Saturday. Oh, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. No balls, two strikes. No two pitch for Maggie. Missed outside, one and two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. That ball hit hard. Line shot. Into the glove of Parker Dodson. And we are down to our final out. Nice play from Dodson. That ball got to him in a hurry, but he stayed right with it. Two outs, bases empty. And the Astros are down to Dylan Gompers. Trying to keep it alive. Gompers has had a good game. Two doubles in the ball game. And a score twice. Trying to start a two-out rally here for the Astros. Two outs, bases empty. Bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch up high, ball one.
1-0 pitch. That ball ripped but fouled on the first base side. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The one one pitch. Stays up high, ball two, I believe. That's what the umpire called. Yeah, two balls and one strike. So two and one the count. Two us, bases empty, and the bottom half of the sixth inning, the Gompers. Maggie trying to close it out. Two one pitch. Misses down low, ball three. Three balls, one strike. The pitch. Ooh, that ball hit hard to right center field going back, and it is up and over the fence. That'll be a ground rule double. So Gompers with his third double of the ball game. Keeps the game alive for the Astros. That'll bring up John DeBowden with two outs and a runner at second base. The Bowden 0 for 2. He struck out twice tonight. Short conference on the mound for the Pirates. Make sure everybody's on the same page. So the Bowden will step in. Two outs, runner at second. Slow tapper up the first base side. Foul for strike one. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. And the ball gets loose, the runner will move up to third base. No balls, two strikes to DeBowden. And now time is called. A conversation up the first base side. No balls, two strikes. O2 pitch. Foul back to the screen. We'll do it again. Gompers now at third base. Two outs, no balls, two strikes to DeBowden. Time is called. The one two pitch. Popped up right side. Will it get out of play? It does. As Hogan gives chase but runs out of real estate, and the count remains 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Maggie again trying to close it out. The 0-2 pitch. Doesn't get the call. Pyre started to come off the field. I was watching the umpire, but he doesn't pull the trigger, and the count remains 1-2. and two. So one ball, two strikes. Maggie shakes it off, looking in to get the sign. One ball, two strikes. Now he's got it. Right hander at the belt. The 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's going to be the ball game. The Pirates are going to move on to championship Saturday, and they will face the winner of either these Astros again or the Dodgers, depending on who wins that game, coming up here on Wednesday night in the Consolation Bracket Championship game, also known as semifinal number two. 
So the Pirates get the win by final score of 6-3. to three. No runs, one hit. No errors. One more to left on base. And the Pirates improved to 8-8 eight and eight overall. And more importantly, they're going to play here on Friday afternoon. We're going to wrap it up and get out of here before the wind knocks something over or the rain comes or both. Thank you to Jasmine Jones, our producer, Skylar Gillespie, our uh, quality control admin, Suda Vincott. Without her, that center field camera wouldn't have even got up and running. Our two camera operators tonight. My name is Merle Bertrand. Have a great night. We hope to see you on Wednesday night, Mother Nature permitting, as we will have the minors semifinal games one and two and uh, the major semifinal number two between the Astros and the Dodgers. Have a great night and we will see you next time right here on the Vibe Live Broadcast Network. Good night everybody.